Hey guys, it's Comic Lunar. I'm Tam doing Nightwing issue 2, so let's talk about the cover. Um, the, really the reason I picked up this issue was because the covers for issue 1 and issue 2, issue two look so great. And I just said, you know, like, for, I have I didn't pick issue 1 when it first came out. And I said, oh, I don't know if I really want to pick it up. Is he going to be just like he was when he was Nightwing before? Is anything really changing? Did him being Batman really matter? But, you know, I said, let's give it a try. I always liked Dick Grayson. And so that's what I did with issue two. I picked up issue one at the same time. And I said, let's try it out. So let's see if picking up on Wim was a good idea. But so far, the cover, I really liked it. We had uh, Seiko trying to attack Dick, which pretty much happened in this issue. And also, we have the circus in the background. And the circus had a lot to do with this issue and the connection of Dick Grayson again with the circus. So let's see what's going on in this issue. Um, so Seiko is fighting with Dick, well, Nightwing, because he says that Dick is a killer, and um, Nightwing's pretty much saying protected Dick because he ran away and uh, said, oh, you shouldn't, you can't hurt Dick. He said, but Dick is a murderer, uh, even though he doesn't know it. And obviously, Nightwing's thinking, Dick's not a murderer because I'm Dick, so I didn't kill anybody. So Seiko must have the wrong idea. So he's fighting Seiko, and uh, Seiko runs away. And now Dick's former, I guess, co-worker, uh, she, he used to work with her in the circus, comes over and says, uh, can you take me to Atlantic City? And he says, sure, uh, let's go. He takes his jet to Atlantic City, and uh, the girl says, uh, I didn't, I, I asked you to take me to Atlantic City for a reason. It's for you to go see Mr. Haley. And he says, why would I, why would I want to see Mr. Haley? Uh, what for? He said, she says, oh, he's dying. You have to go see him in person. So he said, uh, he said, okay, fine, I'll go. So he goes to the warehouse, he finds Mr. Haley, and he, Mr. Haley is dying because of cancer, and he gives the contract over to Dick to have the whole circus. And he's like, oh, you can't do this. You can't hand this whole entire circus to me. Come on. Like, why do I deserve it? He said, oh, you, you grew up in the circus. Your family, they shouldn't have died. They they grew I was going to give it to them. You deserve this. And he says, oh, okay, okay. I'll, I'll take it. And I'll have to think about it. I'll have, I'll have to think. So he goes into the plane again. He thinks about it. He gets a phone call by Seiko. And um, Seiko says, Nightwing. And this is Dick's plane, so he knows to seek our identity. I have Mr. Haley here, and I'm going to blow this place up, so you better come here if you want to save him. So Dick saves him, and Mr. Haley's like, and Dick are on, like, the side of the burning building. And um, Mr. Haley says, oh, um, the circus is special. He says, about what the circus really is. So obviously the circus is hiding something. So I guess that's in issues to come where you have to see what the circus really is. And Mr. Haley dies in the end of the issue. So the next issue is called On the Road Again. So this is stuff I, I really like this issue. There's a lot of great stuff. And it reminds me kind of what Red Robin used to be, I think. And even though Red Robin's different Robin, he was Tim Drake. and But the writing, I felt like reminded me of that and uh, I used to love Red Robin so that's a good thing for Nightwing and I'm excited to see what happens next and uh, this definitely I'm glad I picked this issue up because Nightwing is becoming one of my favorite series for the 52 reboot definitely one of my favorite series uh, great story and looking looking into this issue you see that like what I was scared for for this issue was that Batman, him being Batman wouldn't have mattered. But really in this issue, they do say, I was Batman. That made me a better person, a stronger person. And that shows in this issue, he has changed. And even though he's Nightwing, he didn't digress. He's becoming a better Nightwing. And to tell you the truth, he's not, he's becoming himself because of that. Being Nightwing shows that he's not, he's not Batman, he's not Bruce. He is Dick Grayson. And being Nightwing, having his own identity like that, shows that he's not digressing. He took what he had from Batman, but he became his own person again. And maybe that's why they changed the color of his costume, showing he is a different person, but he is himself again. Even like he used to be Robin. Yes, he was the first Robin. But let's say he went back to being Robin again, which would never happen. But let's say he did. 
You know, there's been tons of Robins. He wouldn't have his own identity. But with him being Nightwing, there's not a, there's not other Nightwing. So him being Nightwing, it's his own identity. It's him being Dick again. Just taking all that strategy from his past, being Robin, being Batman, being Nightwing. He's just taking all those things, his his past and becoming a new person. And showing with the circus uh, story arc, I thought that was brilliant. Bringing back his past and making it, in this issue he says, he's having his past and it's his present now. And I think that's a theme in this issue, uh, in this series, is that he's bringing back his past and it's just becoming a newer present. And it's the same thing, but it's a new situation. Him owning the circus might be better to go back to the circus. He's not, him owning the circus doesn't mean he's not going to be Nightwing. It might just mean he owns the circus. It'll be a business he owns. And I think that would be special because he's holding something to his past, but he's not, like, reliving the grief and everything. It's making him stronger. So definitely that's a great part of this issue. And also, I really love the art for this issue. Love the art. I tell you the truth, I really loved everything about this issue. And definitely my favorite issue I read this uh, this week. And I'm excited to see what happens next in this issue. Seeing the story develop. Seeing Nightwing develop. Seeing Dick develop as his own person again. Um, definitely a great issue. I can't wait what happens next. I give this five stars. Uh, again, I thought this was a great issue. Um, bringing a villain. Because sometimes when you see... When you get people's past and everything, and you're trying to get is tell a story about the character, about the superhero, you kind of forget to bring the villain. And sometimes when you tell a story about a villain only, you kind of forget to tell a story about the character. But getting a story about the character, about the superhero, and about the villain of the week also is very important in comic books. And I'm glad that in this issue and the series so far they're bringing that they're bringing the story for the character and for the villain of the week or the story arc so having a subplot kind of him i think him growing as a character is very important and i'm seeing that he is growing as a character even though there's a villain in the story sometimes comics forget that so i say definitely pick this issue up um if like i said if you think this character is getting degraded by becoming Nightwing again. Definitely not. It's just showing that he he's having his own identity again. But he's definitely grown as a character by being Batman. And that wasn't a waste of time. Uh, so, like I said, definitely pick up this issue. Uh, best issue of the week, in my opinion. And this was Comic Uno, and I hope you enjoy. See you guys.